don't roll your eyes. I'm going to say it again. You need to get out of the freaking house. I don't care if it's cold. I don't care if you don't feel like it. And I definitely don't care if you think your vitamin D supplement is enough. Now, vitamin D made by your own body from sunlight is far superior to anything that comes out of a bottle. Your body activates it differently. It uses it better and it affects the hundreds of genes involved in fertility and the quality of your eggs, implantation and hormonal balance. You cannot replicate that process fully with the pill. It's impossible. Now, the thing is, is also that most of you are taking vitamin D wrong because you're taking it without vitamin K2, which you absolutely must pair with vitamin D because if you don't do this, calcium might be not going into your bones and into the reproductive tissue but it goes into your arteries but even if you would be doing that right relying on supplements instead of nature is not the way your body was designed to thrive going outside isn't just about your vitamin D. Now on top of that, walking is the most underrated fertility treatment there is. When you walk, you lower your cortisol. That increases insulin sensitivity. That's a massive thing for egg quality and ovulation. And it also stimulates your lymphatic system. That is your system that moves out inflammatory ways. Walking also helps to regulate leptin and melatonin. And they're two hormones deeply involved in fertility and sleep patterns. And speaking of sleep, if you don't sleep well, your fertility doesn't really stand a chance. Your reproductive hormones are regulated at night and melatonin rises to protect your eggs from oxidative stress. Growth hormone repairs your ovaries. Progesterone and estrogen recalibrate. So if you're not sleeping, you're really not healing. And that is why inside my fertility circle, I have an entire week dedicated solely to sleep because you cannot fix fertility without fixing your sleep. And one of the easiest, most powerful ways to improve your sleep is to get outside and expose your eyes to natural light and walk. Even if it's cold, even if it's windy, put on a freaking jacket. Be uncomfortable for five minutes. It's not that big of a deal. You're asking your body to create life. The least you can do is step outside. Now, so please don't rely only on bottles for things nature intended you to. Just receive from movement and sunlight. Your hormones need rhythm, your nervous system needs regulation, and your fertility needs you to show up and not just swallow pills.